Hello and welcome to ArcGIS Part 1 series, the best way to win an election using GIS. So in Part 1 we are going to map potential voters' addresses. So before we can begin, we need to have an ArcGIS online account. And for the sake of this tutorial, I will be using Learn ArcGIS. And basically Learn ArcGIS is a site where you can get lessons, tutorials, videos and even articles on um, some of the the projects that you can do or learn about using ArcGIS tools. So uh, you'll scroll down to the bottom and I'll leave a link to the Learn ArcGIS page and you'll need to create an account, a 60-day account that you'll be using for this tutorial. So uh, once you have created the account, you'll receive an email asking you to join the Learn ArcGIS organization. You should immediately accept and join the organization and get started. So once you're logged into ArcGIS online, the Learn ArcGIS organization, just go directly to map. And this will take you to the map viewer, stroke web viewer section. In this section, you're going to add some data containing potential voters together with their location and some attributes that they contain, each the first name, the last name, um, maybe perhaps if they are donors or not and we'll see how donors will work in uh, part 3 of the tutorial so uh, before we can add the data we need to first create it and since for now we don't have any sample data we'll have to create some dummy data so um, I would like to introduce you to a tool called GeoJSON Generator so I will also leave a link in the description for the tool it is basically a web tool that is used to create random geojson data so um for example our data should should contain some attributes such as the name the first name of the voter so um, just input this in the form then you can select something like the name and the first name then add another property and then we'll call it last name and save it again as name and last name then we'll add another attribute which I had mentioned donors and a donation will be in terms of the am amount of money that has been donated and this is this will be taken as a random and and number random number then also we'll add um, another property of maybe if the person is a volunteer or has volunteered somewhere and we'll just put it to some um, system and select sorry we'll put it to some random and select boolean meaning it can either be true or false Okay, we also need to add the address and remember this data is not It's just dummy data that you are going to use. It's not um, accurate data. So on um, the address we can add um, address and maybe we'll just add the The city Okay, that's it. We also need to draw an extent of the area. We want to add the the GeoJSON data to and also specify the number of points so in our case we'll just need 200 potential voters and then we'll draw an extent so um, in this example you're going to focus on Kenya as a country and how you can win an election in Kenya so be it a president or a governor or even a um, senator so le let's draw um, a box within Kenya so I'll just begin from somewhere like here and draw um, a box then just click and finally select generate so what you should notice is that um, random points are generated if we click on one you can see the first name the last name then donation if it's a volunteer and also the address if you click on another we still see the same so um thanks to 
GeoJSON generator, we can download the data and use it somewhere else. If you are not satisfied with the way the data appears, you can select generate again and it will rearrange the points or regenerate other points randomly in different locations. So uh, I will leave um, a profile of the owner of GeoJSON generator and also a link to his YouTube channel. So uh, let's just click generate and then download. So as you can see, the data has been downloaded in GeoJSON format. So um, what we'll do now is we'll import this data into ArcGIS Online. So um, move over to ArcGIS Online, and we are going to um, we're going to select Add. And in terms of Add, we'll add we'll add we'll add a layer from file. So just select add layer from file, then we'll choose the file and then import. And there you have it. I think uh, you can style it the way it's styled is according to the first name, but we want it to just have the same kind of style. So we'll just style it according to the location, the, the short the location only. And then you can change the symbols and style it a little bit to a different color, something like orange for the fill and this other color for the outline. Then click OK. And that's it. I think another thing we need to add is the... the. Okay, before we can add, just finish this. And there we have it, the layer. Let's rename it first so that you don't confuse things up. So we'll just call it Potential Voters. Click OK. Okay, so we're going to add um, another layer, and this will be the layer for uh, counties in Kenya. So um, for that one, I will provide a link to where you can get the data. I already have it. So uh, let's add it to our map. So I'll just add from file. The data is in shapefile format, so I've just wrapped it up into a zip file. So as you can see from ArcGIS Online, they accept shapefiles, CSVs or text, GPX format, and also GeoJSON. Then um, in terms of styling, we'll just style it according to uh, the location only. So we'll just give it a uniform color of something that is a little bit appealing. Mm -hmm. let's give it some blue and then increase the, tr the transparency and also uh, let's let's change the outline to something that is visible like A blue later later blue then select ok and done so now we have two layers the potential voters and the counties layers so we can just rename it to something like Kenyan counties click ok so, uh, so far so good. We can also check it in terms of the table in tabular format. And here is the way it appears. Okay, we just do one last thing. Let's move this Kenya layer and put it underneath potential voters to appear like something like that. Okay, that's it for this part one of this tutorial. I hope it was easy and helpful to you. As always, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Let's move on to part two.